guys today we are in Pigeon Forge Tennessee standing outside of the Little Black Bear Cafe now this place is ranked in the top 10 on TripAdvisor now we heard they had a great breakfast but we're here for their specialty sandwiches for lunch so are you ready Bobby I'm ready let's rock and roll let's rock and roll to find this place just go to the end of Teaster Lane and take a right on the Veterans Boulevard and it's right there on your right or just drive by the old mill and go all the way to the end of the road and it's gonna be on your right there so it's basically behind Patriot Park Welcome to Little Black Bear Cafe. Come on in, folks. All right. Get yourselves at home. All right. We're going to sit you guys at the table right here. Can we sit here? Can we sit out there? You find me. Let's sit out there. Get on out there, guys. Thank you. We're going to check this place out. out there, okay? All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks for calling Little Black Bear Cafe. That's a local May Jam. Little tiny place. I heard the food is great here. So guys, you can see, looks like they have about, well, they got one, two, three, four, five little tables in here. But we're going to eat outside because it's a beautiful day. There's some merch, t-shirts, bunch of bears. Black bear survived a bear claw. The little black bear, some mask. A lot of verses in here on the walls, guys. This is nice. Very nice little place. Guys, welcome to Little Black Bear Cafe right here in Pigeon Forest. Come on by for your breakfast and lunch specials. We got it all, guys. Breakfast, lunch, made to order, fresh and hot. As a matter of fact, we've got specials that you've never seen before, like our Smoky Mountain Squill and Burger. We get a quarter pound hamburger topped with my very own smoked pulled pork barbecue smothered in cheddar cheese on Texas toast. It'll make you slap your mama. So come on by here, guys. Check us out right here at Little Black Bear Cafe. Here is the menu at the Little Black Bear Cafe. We'll start off with the breakfast, even though we're here for lunch. So you guys can see it. Scroll down. Have some omelets. Now we're going to get into some salads. There's a chicken salad, chef salad, and a tossed salad. Head up here to the soups. And the Smoky Mountain Burger. Now I'm going to get that. The Smoky Mountain Squealing Burger. It's a quarter pound burger topped with smel uh, uh, pulled pork and covered with cheddar cheese. It's one of the specialties. And get some hot dogs. Sandwiches and subs. There's the grizzly bear, turkey ham. And there's what Bobby's getting. The other specialty, the Rocky Top bologna sandwich. Now that's what smoked bologna with grilled onions and Swiss cheese piled high with kettle chips on a grilled onion roll. Sounds pretty good, Bobby. It does. Reuben, Philly cheese steak, a club, and a BLT. There are your sides. Drinks. There's a kid's menu, and they're famous for the bear claw. Had shirts in there that said they survived the bear claw. Okay. We're gonna go back in and order and just gonna sit out here and enjoy watching the cars go by. Let's look at this sandwich. Look at this. Look at all that. Wow, there's a lot of pulled yeah. pork in there. Yeah, you got a hamburger, 
quarter pound hamburger down there with all that pulled pork and some cheddar. Cheddar cheese. Let's try to pick it up if I can. <laughs> Yep. See that? You might have to eat that one with a fork. How's that look, guys? Look at that. It Here looks go. good. Hmm. Wow. There's a lot of meat in there. Man, that is excellent. The burger tastes phenomenal. I mean, it tastes great, but with the pulled pork. He said that was his uh, sauce, his pool. That makes you want to slap your mama. I can't reach her. I can't reach Bobby or I'd slap her. But You're not slapping me, John. I'm not your mama. <laughs> but I'll tell you what's good. <laughs> this cheddar on there, never had cheddar on a, a pulled pork. You can really taste that. That adds to the flavor. I mean, one more time. One more time, guys. I mean, got the chips on the side. Just look at that. Yeah, there's a lot of meat there. This was uh, $12.99. Yeah, you can't beat that. That's a good price. Mm, man. That is so good. I mean, in that bite, that bite, you get a little bit of the pulled pork. You should get more of the hamburger flavor in there. Mm. Okay. That is an excellent combination. And you get some chips there and potato salad. All right. Salad. Go. Let's see that. Mm. That is some good potato salad. I mean, the flavor of that is just, I mean, it's good for the taste buds. The flavor is that good. You guys see that? Yeah. It's got my mouth watering. I mean, <laughs> wow. You can tell it's fresh. That's excellent. This is a, uh, I can see why. I mean, this is just a great meal, but I can see why this place is ranked in the top 10. How we just- Happy birthday to you. 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 Happy birthday, dear Scarlett. Happy birthday to you. Yay! That is our awesome. homemade pumpkin spice. Enjoy it, guys. Thank you. Hey, here's Bobby's Rocky Top bologna sandwich. Some mustard. Chips. There's some kettle chips on there. I'll turn this over so you can kind of see. That's a big one, too. You're talking about me having Flip problems it. eating. He loaded you up. Wow. See that? Oh man, look at that. Bologna. That looks good. Onions. Got some grilled onions and some Swiss. Onions. And you got a pickle. Man. Let me see that bologna again. Oh, that looks good. And we'll cut into it. Fried bologna. Hear that crunch? <laughs> I heard it. And anybody who follows us knows that I love fried bologna. So I was excited when Bobby get, got this because yeah. I wanted to try this hamburger. We used to eat fried bologna all the time when we were kids. Hey, look at that. That's loaded, Bobby. It That's a big loaded. piece of bologna. Hey, I'm gonna try to get it. All right, get it all. <laughs> did you get all the flavors? Looks like you did. I did. You don't have to try that because you'll love that. I'm going to. Excellent. I do like the crunch of potato chips, and I think as a kid I used to put the potato chips on my sandwich. Yeah, you were wondering about the potato chips on there. Fried bologna. It seems like it's a good texture bologna. I like the onions on there. Yeah, you like grilled onions. onion fan. Bread is toasted well. Excellent choice. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna tear into that here in a minute too. Bobby's going to try the potato salad. I love homemade potato salad. But everybody at home likes the macaroni salad better, so anytime I go out, I like to get the potato salad. Taste the mustard base. I wonder if that's Miracle Whip. I would say I taste the pickles. Potatoes are done good. Yeah, they are. But just went in there. It's good. 
all, guys. I'm gonna try a little piece of Bobby's. Yeah, his mouth was watering watching me eat this fried I mean, bologna. This big enough. I really shouldn't even be trying this, but I have to because it's fried bologna. And I would have. She wouldn't have ordered this. I would have. Got some pickles on there too. It is good, isn't it? It is. Man, that grilled onions with that bologna, that's, that's a good piece of bologna. Yeah, it's good quality I bologna. I can taste the mustard. I mean, it just, everything just... And the onions, yeah, and the perfect onions on with, there. With the pickle. And the chips. I like that. And the chips. I mean, it's different with the chips. It gives it that crunch. I like it. Well, guys, we tried to get this bear claw out here. It, without melting. It's a double fudge brownie. Got some chocolate in there. Look at all the whipped topping. No. We better eat it, Bobby. This is their special dessert. Got the hot fudge. Hot fudge. The shirts even say I survived a bear claw. Brownie is very That's moist. Big, that brownie looks awesome. I mean, that brownie, look at that. That's very wow. fresh. It's good, warm. You got your Cool Whip on there and their hot fudge. Yeah, that's a good dessert. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Look again. I mean, <clears throat> well, that just goes right through it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, huh? it's a moist brownie. Yeah, I'm thinking of cream cheese. You like that cream cheese in there? Yeah. Chocolate cream cheese with this chocolate syrup, hot fudge syrup, chocolate syrup, either one. That's mm -hmm. why I always love coming to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. They know how to cook. Here. They do. <laughs> that is so warm. That's really warm. That's why that whipped topping went down there. Man, that is. Look at this. I mean, it's just like. Look at that. Just. Mm -hmm. Is that not soft? Yeah. I mean, it's just a, a fresh yeah. brownie. That is so good. It's almost like a cake texture. It is. Guys need to get this. I mean, if it's good enough to be on a shirt, it's good enough for us to buy. And it's good enough for you guys to try it because I, I mean, I think it's excellent. One of the better desserts we've had. He's gonna tell us something that's really cool he's gonna do here wait once a month once a month that's right all right guys i'm lynn Sherrod, of course the owner and operator of the little black bear cafe right here in pigeon Ford. tell you guys something we do that nobody else does we do a free movie night once a month guys when i say free i mean free popcorn free hot dogs free drinks we even have pickles on a stick wow. believe it or not guys and it's <laughs> all free tonight we're setting up of course this is our theater we do a full-size outside theater everything is free you just bring a lawn chair or a blanket and we start right here at dusk our movie tonight is going to be wonder so if you're in the area come on by and see us and if not check us out on facebook for our next upcoming feature guys thank y'all share us like us come by and see us yeah guys you need to check this guy this guy is super nice he's got a great place and this is one place you need to come to eat we just got done eating here at the little black bear cafe here in pigeon forge and i'm gonna say right up front it was amazing what did you think about it too, it was buddy? amazing probably one of the best sandwiches i have ever had i mean i think you probably think it's just fried bologna yeah. but that was great bologna i love the chips on it it had that crunch and it kind of reminded me of my childhood a little bit because as a kid you sometimes put chips and stuff on there uh the mustard was on there and the onions pickles excellent sandwich oh yeah he did and a great job we got to set outside he has a few tables here and it's just so beautiful and peaceful here you're a little bit back from the road you got to come here yeah my sandwich amazing you know i love pork you guys always say i like doing barbecue reviews i love pork and a hamburger and with the cheddar cheese on it man it really added to it but the, the pulled pork was done the way he did it like he said before i smack your mama with it it was so good <laughs> it was that good Potato salad, salad, excellent. Homemade, it was and excellent. the dessert, how was that dessert? That that was very fresh. Like I said, it was like a cake. Yeah, the brownie flavor. was more like, it was so soft. And I like that chocolate cream cheese. Yeah, it was just all good. This was a great experience. And the owner, you couldn't ask for a better guy, very guys. Friendly. Everyone in there, very e friendly. Everybody, and putting this on for the community, having a movie night and doing all that, you guys yeah. need to come uh, check this guy out and help him. Yeah. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have, have left, left the, the building. building.
little bonus coverage for you guys. A lot of times people always want to know where we stay, but we don't film every place we stay. But we're back at the Christmas Inn this time in Pigeon Forge. Just gonna take a quick, here I am, a quick walk through. Show it. There's your shower. There's your little Christmas decorations in here. Place has a fridge, microwave, it's that little closet over here, right, Bobby? Yep, yeah. ironing board. Little coffee maker. A wreath. There's your two queen size beds. TV. Plenty of dresser space. Little Christmas tree, desk or table, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, you can watch Santa on the TV. Yeah, it comes on now. They did give us some little candy kisses at our yep. table, but we ate them. We already ate them. But check out the view. We're on the fourth floor. Let's walk out here. There's your view, guys. A lot of cars coming in. The Smokies. All around us. There's your little pond down there with waterfall. Oh, it's nice. We've been sitting out here for a little while just relaxing, watching the cars, haven't we, Bobby? Yeah. Beautiful place. Really nice place. Right across the street is the Christmas store. So there you go. In case you're wondering where we stayed at. Check out this retro Christmas tree. You remember some of this stuff? I do. I had some of this stuff. Lincoln Logs. The Raggedy Ann. Remember the monkey? Yeah. The popper. Oh, yeah. How about the pull along phone? Yeah. They do an awesome job decorating. Curious George in the... Oh, yeah. Did Curious George. Look at that. This one's my favorite. This is on the fourth floor. All gingerbread. Look at all that shine. I know they did an excellent job. They did. That Santa looks good with the detail on his face. He's got a little gingerbread man on his tray. I mean, look at the detail on that. Shoes. Wow, then they have some stuff to cook with on the bottom. I'm sure it's looking at the rolling pin in here. And then the candy, the spoon. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Now I saw that. That's nice. That is nice. And they have another one. Rolling right crafters. Here. There's an idea. Yeah, there's another one. 